Our last decent rainfall was three years ago, and we're just entering our fourth year of low rainfall. We've um, we got burnt out in February in 17, and just haven't had any rain since. This drought, the worst in about 160 years, is really starting to grind people down. I've been farming on this property for 21 years. In, uh, in normal years, or whatever normal is these days, pastures are green, the cattle have something to eat. Um, we don't need to be feeding them, we don't need to be watering them anywhere near as much. It's, um, it's the life that we were hoping that we would have, but we, uh, we have not had it now for three years. You come on here and you, you, you're seeing animals, that you, you're living with these animals every day, and then you're seeing them slowly deteriorate. It's tough financially and mentally. The challenge with drought is it's just one sunny day after another and it grows in terms of expense, it grows in terms of monotonous nature. Uh, we know farming families have been feeding their sheep every day for four years non-stop. So that eventually wears you down because you just get sick of doing the same thing time and time again. Well, it's like Groundhog Day. Um, you, know, you, you get up, you find yourself, you're doing very similar things. From a, a business perspective, it's debilitating. Um, uh, the, the, the perpetual money going out and, and the, the greatly reduced money coming in. Sometimes you can dig deeper. You, know, you can find that extra bit of energy. You can, you can fix that fence. You can help a neighbour. You know, there are things within your circle of influence that you can manage. Often, finance is not one of them. You know, you're very busy on, on the farm doing what you need to be doing and the bills keep coming in and this is where a lot of sadness can come in. Um, there's no going back from some of those situations. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's very, very hard on the mind. There's no money. We've just got no money. But I've got to make it work. We've mortgaged everything we've had to to, to, to come into this and I owe it to my family to make this work. I owe it to myself because I know that I can do it. Like no one could have picked this um, being burnt out and a drought all in one hit. Like that's pretty, that's pretty solid. The real challenge at the moment is just being able to sustain the farmers on the land, keep them farming. We've got to keep the local businesses here. If they leave, they'll never come back. So the four key things that farmers are looking for in the, in the drought at the moment. Firstly, we need to be able to buy feed for their animals. Uh, we provide a lot of diesel to farmers, but also to the trucking companies to be able to transport the hay. A lot of farming families now need drinking water, so we're now doing a lot of deliveries of drinking water. And finally, just putting the basics on the table, being able to fund some of these families so they can buy groceries and pay for the essential services that their families need. There's a lot of strain, and it's not just the farmers. I mean, this drought is hitting the businesses and the people in those towns just as hard in most cases. Look, the rural businesses are really hurting, and uh, um, yeah, we're always you know, quite open in saying that when the farmers are doing it well, we're doing well, and uh, you know, when they're hurting, we hurt. Um, we're seeing shops close in the main street of Dunning Doo, unfortunately. Sort of, uh, we know it'll turn around, and we're trying to support the farmers as much as we can, and uh, um, you know, and hopefully we'll get that support when when it does rain. The simple fact that Australians have given so that these people can have relief uh, and a little bit less stress in their lives means so much more than what we actually give them in terms of monetary value. We, we love living out here, um, and, um, but the reason we're able to live out here is because the people in the city buy our produce. So at times like this, um, to have their awareness of our, of our situation and um, to have assistance come forward from people we've never met before, it's, um, yeah, it's huge. It can't be overstated the importance of an organisation like Rural Aid in terms of mental health and, and, and survival, because that's basically where we all are now at the moment, we're in a holding pattern. Yeah, we, we, our expectations are low, we just have to survive. Without rural aid, I don't think I would be still on the land without it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really doing it hard.